good morning students our topic is role of entrepreneurs in economic development in previous class we already completed definition of entrepreneur <coughs> scope importance of entrepreneurism characteristics of uh, entrepreneurs classifications of entrepreneurs functions of entrepreneurs and forms of business all these topics were also completed now today topic is the role of entrepreneur in economic development my dear students what is the meaning of economic development economic development is very very essential for every country it means a process of upward changes the real per capita income of a country increases over a long period of time <clears throat> this is the a common definition about economic development once i repeat uh, students real per capita income of a country increases over a long period of time there are so many economists or scientists entrepreneurial scientists they are defined every country think about every government think about economic development is very very essential now a competitive world <clears throat> so economic development of a country is depending up depending upon human resources <clears throat> human resources alone are not put economic development but it requires dynamic entrepreneurs also they look for opportunities identifications of opportunities and size of opportunities for maximizing profit even a country having more natural resources is lagging behind in the entrepreneurship not capable to utilize those resources and lag behind in economic development students economic development is a process by incorporation of natural resources and as well as human resources the incorporation mechanism only by entrepreneurial development it is possibility by entrepreneurial development entrepreneurship now that more developing countries recognize the importance of entrepreneurs and the countries are motivating small enterprises small entrepreneurs micro small and a medium entrepreneurs development by various countries for their development students <coughs> entrepreneurs are action oriented self motivated risk takers and goal achievers you know in our previous classes 
what are the main characteristics of entrepreneur so then <clears throat> they transform their capabilities in economic resources by establishing a business enterprise for producing goods and services this process makes more products availability to the people and that people satisfy their needs and wants he is a great personality he create and he satisfy the needs and wants of the consumers entire in the globe it leads to the improvement of individual income levels standard of living besides of development of economy so the economic development of a country depends primarily on its entrepreneurs they play an important role in the following manner students entrepreneur is very most important vital role to play the all the aspects of development which leads economic issues the first important role by entrepreneur is better standards of living of the people in a particular country by the establishment of small scale and large scale industries entrepreneurs are providing new and varied and quality products at lower cost scarcity of essential products overcome by the innovation of entrepreneurs their efforts improve the living standards of the people so i would like to explain in the best example then our entrepreneurs establishing more and more in a particular country by this effect more than industries giving much more product supplied to the people than the people's desires and wants um, desires and wants clearly clear in with cheap cost with cheap cost and low price so then the people's purchasing whenever more products they are improving their standards of living in better way so this is a most important advantage by entrepreneurship development in a particular country it leads to the standards of living of the people of a of a country <clears throat> and another second important point is improving products of a particular country it means entrepreneur is a central figure in the process of development he introduce newer and newer methods of product he innovate scientifically technically uh, by his own uh, efforts by the introduction of newer method of production and process of quality and products is improved so nowadays competitive world every entrepreneur must and should they are trying to r and d departments improvement of r and d departments these r and d departments introducing newer methods 
for the production they are launching new commodities goods and services for the people with cheap cost new scientific methods also introduced in this process they are producing new products for the public and another important point is that is nothing but third point decentralization of economic power students it is very very important uh, content why because particularly developing countries like india economic power concentration in some of uh, people so much more incomes concentrated in few people less amount concentrated in large number of people so in this context entrepreneur he introduced new industrial development may lead to concentration of economic power in few hands the concentration of economic power can be identified in the terms of producers of product and the producers of several products the concentration of economic power can be eliminated by the increasing number of entrepreneurs nowadays the government to encourage more number of individuals to set up business ventures for the utilization of local resources it leads to improvement of economic power to poorers so it leads to the decentralization of economic power so concentration of economic power it should be decentralized by encouragement of young entrepreneurs and micro small medium enterprises so india has to follow the small uh, msme acts and uh, ssi acts it leads to the more industries concentrate in small enterprises it should be developed by government and the fourth one is the balanced regional development the growth of industry and business leads to a large number of public benefits like roads transport health education and environment and etc when the industries are concentrated in selected cities the development gets limited to these cities according to india in 19 uh, up to 1970 industrial development in few cities so concentration of uh, industries in few cities so india is a vast country there are so many um, towns are not acceptable to the development due to the reason of uh, lagging of industries so whenever we encourage a small most uh, favorable entrepreneurial development in uh, spread into various places in the country then immediately balanced equal regional development all the places are equal amenities and equal facilities get on till late 60s 50 percentage of industrial enterprises were located in the only six cities in india a rapid development of entrepreneurship ensure a balanced regional development 
when the new entrepreneurs grow at faster pace in view of increasing competition in and around the cities they are forced to set up their enterprises in the similar towns away from the big cities this helps to development of backward areas government also take necessary actions since 1947 it extended industrial zones to the rural areas remote areas so due to that india spreading entrepreneurs in various places it leads to equal regional balance and integrity of a country and another important point advantages of entrepreneur is it should be create more employment entrepreneurship Uh, when our uh, development in india particular country so it leads to the more employment growing employment particularly educated unemployment in an acute problem of the nation india is a huge population country due to the lagging of industries unemployment is rapidly grow the available employment opportunity can be only 5 to 10 percentage of the unemployed if a hundred persons become entrepreneurs they not only created hundreds of jobs for themselves but also provide employment to many more as the time pass these enterprises grow providing direct and indirect employment to many more this is the main uh, important point entrepreneurs they are creating more employment either skill unskill technical non technical <coughs> uh educated fellows either rural or urban thus entrepreneurs fight the evil of employment by establishing business enterprises india is a huge population country nearly 130 crores educated and uneducated employees unemployed are huge number it will be reduced by the only development of uh, entrepreneurial development so the sixth important uh, uh, point is higher income levels income level of the people increased by the activities of entrepreneurs how it is then entrepreneurs establishing their enterprises or business or industries they should give employment opportunities then employment opportunity whenever it will be create it will be created by the entrepreneur the salaries of the people who works in industries then raise the activities directly or indirectly help the income level of the people for example by promoting goods and services at lower prices generating of employment promotion of comforts establishments of infrastructure facilities and etc all these things provide higher income levels of the people in a particular country seventh important uh, content is export of products and services definitely entrepreneurs help the nations in the balance of payments 
whenever industries small enterprises raise in a particular country they reduce the balance of payment by exporting goods services to various countries they also generate the foreign capital resources we export more and more uh, commodities to the other countries then we are getting much more foreign exchange returns came to foreign countries to our country then it leads to the balance of payment there is no deficiency so definitely it is very very important uh, uh, point regarding uh, entrepreneurial development and the eighth point is the next important eighth point is capital mobilization is very important role play by entrepreneur a large capital stock should be enabled to source of larger output the entrepreneur is middleman that he raises capital from various investors like the lic stock markets banking sector and etc the same is used to set business ventures for the way a uh, creation of goods and services high growth rate of capital formation is an index of rapid economic growth of a country so then high growth rate of capital mobilization depends on the efficiency of entrepreneurs whenever entrepreneurs establish more uh, companies and more industries in particular uh, country then income levels will raise then saving rate automatically uh, increases that saving it converts into the investment that investment whenever banks um, raise their funds uh, in the banks then the interest rate will be come down that it leads to the the interest rate whenever it will come down the entrepreneurs more and more attract to the uh, borrowing loans and they they are invest their industries they give products goods and services to the public with cheap cost so it leads the economic development of a country thus they convert ideal savings into the product to purpose so this is the most important uh, for developing countries and an important thing more one more important thing is better utilization of natural resources india is a huge amount of natural resources like coal iron water forest resources and like that extraordinary climatic situations soils rainfall mineral deposits and sources of power and etc are efficiently effectively used by the entrepreneurs for the certain of economic values availability of natural resources is depends upon region to region for the better utilization of resources entrepreneurs set of a business ventures natural resources existing uh, uh, countries like india whenever we support more uh, entrepreneurs by the uh, government of india they are utilizing natural resources and made up of some important commodities and resources to the public the third tenth point is very very important point creation of market in the word of schumpeter he is an uh, economic scientist entrepreneur may also create a new market according to the statement of uh, entrepreneur 
occupies new area and new consumers and his products and services entrepreneur think about uh, getting his profit he innovate new market for uh, purchase uh, for sales of their products and services he captures his market share in the business also okay my dear students another important uh, advantage of entrepreneurship uh, for the growth of uh, economic development improvement of per capita income of a people in a particular country per capita income is arrived at by dividing dividing the national income of a country by a population per capita income calculation is nothing but that entire population divided into the national income it is equal and it is equal to per capita income it 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 it, it, it leads to the per capita income an increase in the per capita income indicates a rise in the availability of goods and services these goods and services are produced by the entrepreneurs thus the entrepreneurs are the pillars of the increase of economic growth and industrialization of a country students the so the 12th point the 12th important uh, content is national self reliance entrepreneurs strengthen the nation's economic power they substitute imports and promotes and promote he exports by producing goods and services in the economy through exports country earns more foreign exchange hence the country will become a self relevant student our whenever entrepreneurs establishing in a country they are support more than uh commodities exports to other countries and overcome the scarcity of commodities in a particular con- particular country then we export to other countries then we got from other countries to here that is nothing but foreign exchange so then that foreign exchange whenever we increases in our country it leads to the economic development uh i already discussed 12 points in this class besides of this 12 points i add some more important contents regarding role of entrepreneur in economic development the first one i i, I add uh, one more uh, one, oh, three or four more Uh, points the first one is r and d development friends uh, i already told you 12 points uh, besides of this i add up another six points for entrepreneur the role of entrepreneur in economic development the first thing is the role is very important for the development of economy by encourages transport banking and as well as telecommunication services it is nothing but entrepreneur role is very important to development of tertiary sector tertiary sector is very rapid grow by entrepreneurial development entrepreneurs established so many enterprises industries about 
this infrastructural facilities provided by the government for entrepreneurs like banking transport like road railway airways telecommunication services all the infrastructural facilities provide in various places so it is it leads to the development of uh, economy another important point is control of migrations controls of migrations migrations is nothing but people shifted from one place to another place it is very drastic uh, disadvantages like uh, uh, in india so entrepreneurial development it should be control migrations from rural areas to urban areas whenever uh, we increases the uh, entrepreneurial development and another important thing is entrepreneurs when they are raised in a particular country they are establishing so many industries across the country so then they are producing more and more goods it uh, reduces inflation rate that is nothing but uh, increases the price uh, rate of uh, commodities and services so maximum they are producing goods and services so then price will decrease it helps to control the poverty and it leads to the social justice which existing in our constitution rules and regulations india uh, 40% of the people they are in the poverty they must be reducing they must be reduce by entrepreneurial development another another important thing is um, important uh, topic is by entrepreneurship eradication of poverty uh, and also importance of technology uh, increases the usage of technology by using uh, various methods so uh, technically upgradation of a country uh, according to the industries and superior goods and as well as technical goods availability in with cheap cost for the people of a country and also like a banking sector banking sector is also the banking sector boosted by the entrepreneurs the people saving rate uh, very uh, high level by encouragement of uh, industries like uh, stock markets lics and as well as uh, uh, financial comp- uh, some other financial companies it leads to the uh, saving uh, increasing the saving rate of the people uh, by the entrepreneurial development so my dear friends all the these 16 or 17 points is very helpful for you uh, getting good score in our examination point of view uh, once uh, i uh, thank you